Hello everyone and welcome to another Run GB for Thunder uh, Historical Battles. This time in a Focus 190 F4. We have already climbed to altitude, we are already over the target area and we are actively looking for enemies. There are a couple lower enemies there, but I have spotted a P47 down there which is attacking a Henkel 111. And right now what I'm doing is looking at him but also taking a look at the direction where the enemy base is because I don't want to be sorry, I don't want to be surprised by enemies that are coming from a higher altitude. Here you can see the um, uh, different teams and the planes they have. The Yermas actually have less planes and um, well, usually it's not a big trouble because um, Allied teams, to be honest, don't fly very well. And they usually go very very low, but in this particular game we have higher altitude enemies. And of course, uh, you have to deal with those. And it's not the, f the easiest thing to do in a Focus 190. So I see that higher P51. And I don't want to come up unless now that I see a BF109 as well. Uh, I don't want to come up to him because my speed will go down and I won't be able to maneuver and I'll be a very easy target. So what I do instead is to dive and um, build my speed. I spot a lower P40 but the P51 is clearly coming for me. So what I'm going to do is that now I have the speed I actually turn towards the P41 P51 which is so nice and so gentle as to break his wings while trying to get me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I always dive just to to see if I get that kind of result. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but that was funny. So I see a lower P40, which is my most um, accessible target right now. And uh, what I'm going to do is to dive on him and try to get him. But I don't want to mm, drop a lot of energy in the meantime. So what I do is to come up, because he's not giving me a good angle, and come down on him again. This is going to prevent me having to cut my throttle, which will kill my speed and leave me very low on energy. Right now I'm very fast and coming from the proper angle. He's break turning, but I lead him. I put a very good burst on him. Go in a high yo-yo. And come down again. I just and sword burst and that's enough to kill him. So we got the first kill. So now what we want to do is to keep the speed high and uh, trade it for altitude. I see a Hulk at there. A P-51 there. Another Hellcat. Well, actually, there's there are British and American Hellcats, but they fly all the same. They are right now very heavily engaged. So what I'm going to do is to come and do a slashing attack and zoom away and come back. That's the plan, at least. Looking around, always checking my six. I don't want any kind of surprises. You can see there, the three of them are actually with a B-25, but I mean, the bomber can be left for the last. The dangerous guys are the fighters, so I'm going for the fighters. Miss my first shot. I see another Hellcat there, which is giving me a good angle if I work for it, which I do with a lag roll. Come down on him. They are going for that 109G6. Get a very good burst on him. He's on fire. But someone else decides to shoot on the dying target, so whatever. I'll get an assist out of it. Should be a kill, but who cares? That other guy is giving me a very good shot, so I shoot at him instead and get a kill. Still, we have a um, good amount of enemies around. So, vertical move. Delaying action to ensure a proper 
attack angle. I don't want to go immediately down on him because that would be a crappy shot. Instead, I beat my time, come down on him with a good angle, but I miss the shot. No big deal. Hi, yo yo. Keeping the energy up and coming down again. The BF109 is doing a good job in giving me a good shot. He's dragging the plane, not shaking a lot, and I have a very good lead shot on him. So I get it and finish the job. And that was mostly it for the rest of the battle because there are a couple of enemy fighters around and a bomber as well. But for the rest of the battle, what I do is to strafe a couple of grand targets and the game will end. So no real reason is showing some ground strafing for no reason. I told you uh, this was a very quick one. So let's see the results. As always, I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.